Hello, hello, my friends. This is your faithful friend, Sandra Graves, and thank you for tuning in today to En Vivo Live. Today, we are going to talk about how to attract greater success. And let me tell you that it is possible. I know if you really think about it, you have been successful in many, many areas of your life. And you are here because you have succeeded many, many times. And although we are very hard on ourselves, making ourselves believe that we have never been successful or whatever is it that we have is just little, then that's where the problem lies. Because what we do is that we compare ourselves with other people. They have different talents. They have different experiences, different educations, and we compare ourselves to them. And then we feel like I have not achieved anything. And let me tell you that I have been guilty of that. When I compare myself to people like, um, you know, Martin Luther King or Mother Teresa, or I compare myself with the greatest people, Muhammad Ali, all those people, when I compare myself with them, I think, wow, they really live with a purpose. They did amazing things. They did so great. So if I compare myself with them, then I actually feel like I did not do much. I was just recently looking at the movie, The Hidden Figures. And when I saw that movie, those women were so powerful, so intense, so passionate, so purposeful. And I w got out of there impacted by the movie, but at the same time, it's like, what more can I do? What more can I do to be successful? But you know, the reality is, is that I have been successful. I am successful. And every day I am achieving more success. But when we compare ourselves with other people, we do not feel it. So please, my first advice to you is do not compare yourself to anyone. If you ever going to compare yourself to anyone is to make sure that you are going to try to achieve what they have or even greater, but not to compare yourself to say that I did not do a good job. No, 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 no. That can be so, so discouraging. So please don't do it. You are here because you have achieved lots of great things in your life. You have overcome obstacles. You have fight some battles that you taught yourself you will not be able to overcome. And you did. So don't be so hard on yourself. One other thing that I learned about being successful or achieving greater success was be yourself. A lot of time in our trying to find new clients, or trying to think of new career or transforming our life into something else. What we think of, we think of, Hmm, I want to please that person. I want them to be happy with what I, I want their approval. And then we are not comfortable with who we are. And that is something that I'm trying to tell you. If you are not comfortable with who you are, you're going to have a hard time identifying what success means to you because everybody have a different understanding of what success is. So if you define your success based on other people's success, most of the time you are going to feel that you are not successful, just like the previous example that I gave you. However, be yourself. I have an amazing personality for some people. It can take them off for some people. They think it's the greatest thing. For other people, it can be pretty annoying. I am this huggy, huggy person. I am this opinionated person. I am a lot of things that a lot of people like and a lot of things that a lot of people don't like. And you know what? That is okay because that makes me who I am. I was born to be this way. I have achieved and I have, a, I have transformed myself through time and I have even turned myself into a better person. But overall, I am this person that God created. God wanted me to be like this. I would not be able to do the things in that I have done if I didn't have this personality. You are where you are because it is what you're supposed to be. You only have to embrace who you are as a person. You only have to be able to be comfortable in your skin. And then you will, be, you will see that other people will be comfortable with you. That's how it works. So please, whatever you are doing, whatever you are doing, be comfortable in your own skin. 
that is so 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 important you have to be comfortable in your own skin another thing that i learned about success is that lately i've been a lot of people have been coming to me because they want some advice about business they want my opinion they want me to show them some things and guess what when they come to me they don't really know what they want they are not informed they are not they don't have any clarity as to what is it that they are trying to accomplish so what i am telling you is that if you want to achieve success you need to be informed if you want to open a business that attract doctors you should learn what doctors like and what they dislike you should learn a little bit more about doctors and the nurses that are around the doctors and the hospital and you should learn about all of these needs and desires that doctors have if your goal is to please or to have clients as doctors if you are going to open a business a photography business online guess what you better understand your clients who your target audience is but you have to inform yourself what kind of things are they doing are they going to youtube are they going to facebook are they using instagram more what is this that's happening what is it that you need do you need a better camera what is it that you need in order to attract that audience in order to meet the needs of that audience so please inform yourself don't start anything if you haven't done your research. I am not telling you not to dream because I am a pioneer or I am a leader of letting people know that you have to dream big. If you dream it, you can create it. And if you create it, you can live it. But you have to dream big. I always told my kids that when they dream they got to dream beyond what is expected of them dream high because most of the time what happens is that when we are dreaming if you dream little you get little but if you dream big you're going to make it really to the point that you said and you're going to get great things so you have to you have to you have to um get informed find out who you need what skills do you have what skills you don't have what are your strengths what are your weaknesses um find out what are these things then that you need in order for you to have an informed decision because that's what success is is you deciding that you are going to be successful as an artist as a designer as a doctor as an engineer as a football player and be able to do everything that is in your power to be successful in that area that you have decided um a gentleman asked me um he was asking me advice as how he can be successful and i asked what do you want to do i don't know what is it that success mean to you i don't know well duh he says well he want to win the lottery that's all he wants to be successful I said, when was the last time you purchased a lottery ticket? He hasn't. You are going to win the lottery, but you haven't bought a lottery ticket. Duh. I say it in Spanish, baboso. How can you expect to win something when you are not participating in it? So please, the same thing that I told him before you decide that you want to achieve this great success you need to define what success means to you for some people success is a lot of money for some people success is fame for other people success is having a happy family for other people success is pleasing god being able to be the best christian that they can be for other people success is simply waking up every day because they may have experienced cancer or some disease and now to them success is just waking up every morning so they take care of their health and they do everything that they can in order for them to be successful what does success mean to you you can attract success but you have to define what that success mean to you another thing but before i tell you that other thing i will take a commercial break and be back because i do talk a lot and i have to take a break 
gente, aquí Sandra Graves y hoy quería decirte que te conectes con En Vivo Live todos los martes aquí en YouTube. We are going to be here every Thursday at 7 p.m. with different guests bringing you different information. Con invitados especiales, con tu anfitriona, yo, Sandra Graves. No te olvides, subscribe, suscriba y comenta. The code is presented by En Vivo Associates, our affiliates, our sponsors, and of course, our guests. Our guests who present you with the tools that you need to identify the success you desire. If you would like to be a guest in this show, or if you have any comments or questions or any show idea for us, please send us an email to info at envivoassociates.com. Thank you for tuning in to The Code. Well, 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 thank you again for tuning in to in vivo live in your segment of the code with your host sandra graves and let me tell you that if you want to be a guest on this show all you have to do is send us an email at info at invivoassociate.com also if you are a life coach or you are a motivational speaker and expert in a particular area soon we are launching our website where The website is going to be a representation of coaches and speakers. Our job is to help you achieve success, is to give you a platform where you can be able to have a video, have your summary of who you are, a, some pictures, a picture gallery, and some description and really help you. If you have a book that you want to publish, if you have a lot of these things that you want to do, our goal is to help you do that. So don't forget in the future well right now you can actually visit envivoassociates.com and you're going to find a simple page but next month we are launching our website and we want you to be part of it so if you want to do that just find out more and if you want to advertise with us our goal is to be able to help you get your product out there as well so all you have to do is contact us at info at envivoassociates.com come anyway we were talking about attracting success and one of the things that you have to do in order to attract success is get support you know a lot of times we always say let me put my nose we always say that i can do it by myself <laughs> you know it is good to know that you can do it by yourself if you need to However, I have learned the hard way, which I learned everything the hard way, is that we do need help. You know, right now I have people building our website. Right now I have support, people helping me with the translations. I have all kind of support. I have a support for my husband and for my children and for my sister and for my friends. I have support and I have support from partners as well. We all need support because one thing that I learned from Napoleon Hill is that we all need to create a successful group. You need to create an affiliation that will help you be able to succeed. When you have people believing in your dreams, it is just amazing because it's not only your dream anymore. It's everybody's dream. I'm not telling you that they are going to believe in your dream all the time. I'm telling you that you need someone to help you be able to achieve all of these things. They might not do all of the work or the greater work because it's your passion, it's your dream, but they are there to help you, to support you. If you have people in your life that are negative and they're telling you that what you want to achieve is not possible, get rid of them immediately get rid of them and if it's your husband or your partner or your children just avoid them avoid talking about your success with them and do everything that you have in your power with the help of god and achieve that success that you want but it's possible i am going to tell you and the next conversation that i'm going to have with you is going to sound a little contradicting but it is not Because first, I want to establish with you that try to find help. You are not great at everything. You are great at some things. And you have to identify what you are very good at. And then try to get support in the things that you are not good at. 
I don't speak Spanish in an excellent way and I don't speak English in an excellent way. Some people think I speak both of them in an awesome way. They think I am very good at both and some people think I'm not. And that is okay. Because when I need to tackle uh, a task that I believe that I am not great at, you know what? I have editors that help me with my English and I have editors that help me with my Spanish. So if you usually see any mistake in the English or in the Spanish, it's because I did not find help. So I am telling you, make sure that you get help. There's nothing wrong in getting help. Get the support that you need. Get the alliance, as Napoleon Hill will say. Get your alliance to help you to succeed. When you have an alliance, you can go very far. But let me tell you that sometimes when you are you have a group or an alliance that you are working with, and the people are maybe they're not passionate like you are, sometimes they are not going to participate in the things that you want them to participate. But if you have a plan, if you have a dream, and you really desire to succeed, you have to show up all the time. If you have a program like this one, and someone don't show up, you show up. If you have an event, and people don't show up, you show up. And if you have a dream, and no one show up, you show up. You have to show up all the time because it is your dream and no one has to believe in your dream. The responsibility of believing in your dream is yours. It is yours. And once you start believing in your dreams, let me tell you something. Other people start believing in your dreams and then the support gets stronger and you can actually listen to them and they start talking about your dream as if it was as if it was their own dream. When you experience that, it's just an amazing thing that I myself have experienced. I have so many things that I'm working on and so many people believing in it because at first it sounded crazy and that's okay, but later they too believe. And that's all you have to do. You have to believe in your dream. When you believe in your dream, Challenges can come. Negative people can present themselves in your life. You can have a sickness. You can have everything. You can have a hurricane happen. But you know what? If you focus on your dream, if you focus on what you want, it doesn't matter what happened. You can fall. You dust yourself off and you get up and you keep fighting because you have a dream to create. And once you create it, you can live it. So don't forget, don't give up on your dreams. If everyone else give up on your dreams, make sure that you show up. You show up all the time. So the next one that I want you to, to talk to, that I want to share with you is that I know I mentioned it before, but I want to make an emphasis. You need to think big. You need to dream big. Think big and dream big. Just like that dog that I am listening to is having a loud voice. So when you come to your dreams, you have to have a loud voice. You have to have a great thinking. So think about all the great things that you want to do. Write it down, record it, but something that will remind you that you are here to live your purpose. You are not here by mistake. You are here to do great things, but you can only great, do great things if you believe it. You know, I realized, I learned uh, again, the hard way, that if I don't believe that I deserve something, I'm not going to get it. We have to believe that we deserve it. If you work so hard to be able to be rich, but you don't believe that you are ever going to be rich, then it's not going to happen because you already decided that that is not going to happen. And that's the reason why um, I'm telling you, reprogram your mind and let yourself be aware that whatever is it that is your dream that you desire, remember that you must believe that you deserve it. 
And I know you might say, Sandra, well, I didn't work towards it yet. I don't have it. Well, you have to believe you deserve it. Why do you deserve it? I cannot give you that answer. I know why I deserve it. I know that I have worked hard. I know that I'm full of passion. I know that I give my best in everything that I do. I know that I go the extra mile. I know that whenever I want something, I show up even when people don't show up. I know that I can tackle anything. I can do anything through him who give me strength. I know it. So therefore, I deserve it. And I hope that that is your same attitude, that whatever it is that you want, you know that you deserve it. You deserve the best. And if you don't believe that you deserve the best, you are not going to get it. So don't let anybody, not even me, tell you that you don't deserve the best because you do. If I have received the best in everything, even my kids, my husband, everything that I have, the God that I serve, then you deserve it as well. So don't forget, you have to believe that you deserve the best. And when you start believing that you deserve the best, you are not going to have a problem with thinking big. You are not going to have a problem with dreaming big. And you are not going to have a problem taking action, action, action. There's a West Indian song, this action. I don't want to do it, believe. I don't even know what the song is, but I love, I need some action, tender satisfaction. I don't know, something like that, right? But you, you have to take action. Action in the things that you want. Okay, dreaming is good. And, and, and envisioning all of this is good. And believing you deserve it is good. But all of that without action is not going to happen. So you need to write it down, find out what it is that you're going to do. What steps are you going to take today so that you can achieve that, that you want so that you can achieve that greater success, attract more success in your life because simple positive thinking is not going to cut it. You have to take action because the positive thinking that you have sent out that message that you want more. But when you stand up and walk and take action, then you are guided towards where you need to go. If you just sit down and wait for something to happen, believe me, it's not going to come to you. You're going to wait and wait and you're going to break your back waiting because it's not going to happen. Tell me about it. I tried. It doesn't work that way. So you have to take action, 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 action. Don't let me remind you again that you have to take action. It says in my book, Bible, it says, if you believe you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer, I believe it. So you have to believe it too. You can achieve anything that you wish, but you have to believe it. So be positive, be, be you, be strong, get support. And if people don't want to support you, show up, show up and make sure that you achieve the dreams that you want to. It is no one responsibility and you don't have to ask anyone for permission to dream. All you have to do is dream it, create it and live it. This is your faithful friend, Sandra Graves. Don't forget, I will be here on Thursday.